Yo! How's it going, everyone? It's that time once again. We are back. The early stream. It is 7am on a Thursday morning. So we've got the 50% uh, support banners are out tomorrow. Basically 24 and a half hours from now. Stream mm -hmm. teams always linked horribly. The only reason they worked is because Rose and Turles gave three key to fix everything. Back in the day, that is definitely true. Um, they've been a bit better recently with. Um, like units having links like fear and faith and stuff like that, but uh, no, as far as they don't go back into the general pool, or at least they haven't on JP, no. So, so this is the thing, right? When these banners come out tomorrow, you kind of, uh, if you want any of them in particular, the 50% supports, um, you have to summon for them this time around, or again, we have no idea as they go away again. We have no idea how long it will be till they're available again. You'll remember that this stuff came out on JP in January, and those units have still not been available again since then. So... They definitely need to do something where they bring them back more regularly, because it's... Uh, it's crazy that they're so unavailable. Yeah, I forgot my, um, I think you mentioned it the other day, I have to change it, but it's because the clock's changed in the UK, so the difference between UK and EST has changed again. Oh wait, isn't it? Wait, yeah, isn't it for EST now anyway? And one, no. It's midnight, yeah, midnight PST. Oh, wait, no, it's three. Yeah, isn't it three EST? Yeah, that's why. Because, yeah, the clock's changed in the UK, in America first, but not the UK. So the difference between EST and UK changed for the last couple of weeks. And now the clocks in the UK have changed. So the difference has changed again. And I thought I'd updated it, but I must have missed... Uh, I must have missed some of the listings. Because obviously the easiest thing for me to do is copy and paste the schedule from the week before. And then just change the bits that are different. So I think it's still some of them still have the older time. Hey, we got the launch uh, one. So we get the guaranteed Elder Kai. Because you know I need, need Elder Kai's. Yeah, Anto, how's it going? I heard Slay the Spire 2 got announced. Oh, let's go. I'm going to have to look into that. Played a lot of that on the second channel, so definitely have to play the second one when it comes out. Mm -mm -mm. Two point two K no dragon fist. Oof. Damn. I think they will need the fully implemented P system with the sync. I don't think they will do it to be honest. Oh twenty twenty five, okay. schedule. I didn't get the power level update. Yeah, I'm just double checking it now. 
I'm not sure. I don't know which. Uh... Mm -mm 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 -mm. I have 502 stones right now. Not bad. Don't do it until... Yeah. Another multi won't hurt. Except it will. Although is the, is the 3 plus 1 like over now? It is, right? Yeah, so EST is... Four hours behind the UK, right? So it is 3 a.m. EST now. Is it not? Or is it not? Well, it's not technically EST anymore, is it? It's just like Eastern Time. Because I know Pacific Time is like seven hours behind me. So it's midnight. And then I thought the difference was three hours between Pacific and Eastern. Wait, yeah, no, it was eight hours. It's eight hours and five hours. Yeah, it was only... It was, yeah, okay. I had to get back into the right brain. Because it was seven hours and four hours when the America clocks changed. But not when the UK ones changed. Okay, so it's 11 PST and 2 AM EST. 7 AM UK. Right. So let me update those. Update tomorrow's one. So it's five hours. So that means the Hell Diver stream is at nine AM. EST. 6 a.m. PST. Because then that's eight hours, right? <laughs> and the podcast is actually at 8 p.m. UK. Yes, he hadn't even changed the podcast time because the clocks have changed again. Yeah, daylight savings is super annoying for that. <laughs> so Demon Souls would be at two and then nine. And then six for f Friday. Okay. So I think, I yeah, know, because that means these are all wrong again. So when I do the 3 p.m. or the 8 p.m. streams for the second channel, the times for those have been wrong as well. Okay. That should be up to date now. Power outage in my neighborhood, oh no. I'll do a single. No, never do singles. Never give in. <laughs> no one pops in today asking when the banner drops. Everyone seems to ask on the day they come out. It's because people know they come out that day, but then they don't, like, they don't double check the news or anything, so they just log into the game. The banners aren't there, and then it's like, oh, when did the banners come out? Even though on global, banners come out at the same time all the time. Like, like 20 minutes from now is the time slot where banners always come out. But people will always ask.
Yeah, it's about to say, isn't it, at the same time? Yeah, it's literally always the same time. The only times it's different is um, when they do, like, same time celebrations and stuff, like Saiyan Day and things like that. Sometimes they'll drop the banner early. Like, Saiyan Day for the Vegeta, the banner dropped, like, 12 minutes early or something random. Right. I don't actually get any links for uh, these guys. No, you still need to. You still need to. So they all still need tons of links. Right. So that's the... I've got the schedule updated on there. Tech Pan Showcase. Now when is this banner dropping, boys? But yeah, tomorrow... Tech Pan in 2024. I mean, she's not exactly in a good uh, game state, is she, when the the big events are the in AOE bosses. That's uh... update the schedule that I posted with the right times on it on the YouTube thing. Right, so yeah, we're going to do some uh, challenge runs and stuff on this stream. Until I get rid of the curse, she doesn't exist to me. Yeah, fair. I mean, isn't it? That's the one that you've pulled. That's like the equivalent of my STR Kid Boo, right? stream on Thursday. Well, th today is Thursday, but we're doing a um, the Helldiver stream that I'm doing at 2 p.m. UK time is going to be for like four hours because new content drops today for Helldivers. So it's going to be a Helldivers mega stream. Two of those tech plans are from back to back ticket singles. Oh no. I think I'll drop Rose Goku Black for JP for Topo Part 2. Yeah, I made a video about that yesterday. I think it's definitely a. Uh, definitely a possibility. The chance is higher than zero, let's say that. Yo, Nitka featured over on the Twitch side. How's it going, my dude? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
But yeah, yesterday we did the Golden Week 2020. Actually, in fact, let me have a look at the timeline. Who were the Golden Week units the year before? Is that when the... Oh, that was Gohan and Goku and Cell, right? In fact, let's go back to the 5th anniversary... Uh, April 2021. Yeah, that was the GT Super Saiyans that were the first. They were the first shared Golden Week. Might do a run trying to use them. And rehabilitated for showing up drunk to fight bugs. Well, yeah, we will be streaming Helldivers. Uh, it'll be 2 till 6. Um, anyone who has it obviously is welcome to join. Um, People from the stream have joined before, like Raudo Chili, Prof, obviously. Me and Little Blue will be there. I'll put a post in my um, my friend group that plays as well. So hopefully there'll be a bunch of uh, different people, and we can have squads throughout the throughout the stream. I know Raudo. I need to reply actually. Raudo messaged me earlier saying that he won't be there for the first bit, little bit, because he's out. I did finish the Broly Easy A yesterday. Nice. Family coming here. How's the next one that will be grinded to level 999? Yeah, that's the those are the two that I've done all the way to 999. Yeah, they're supposed to be the uh, LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku EZA, but we still don't know exactly when that, that's coming out. Next week, potentially. Monday or Tuesday, maybe. I don't know. They haven't actually... It's not in the data yet. It's not, it hasn't been in the news, but it's also not in the game files. So we still don't actually know. Yeah, what is it they call dwarves in Warhammer 40,000? Like the future fantasy version of dwarves. It's like, is it squats? Elves kind of became like the Eldar. Um, but yeah, it's crazy how um, like insanely popular Helldivers got. Like more so than the devs thought it would. That's the why it needed so many updates. Like... The game just kept being at like server capacity because so many more people played it than they actually thought would play it. But yeah, what team can we put the? Let's see. So we've got the Golden Week. I mean, they'll be on the Super Saiyans 200% team, but it's not a it's not a great team for them because of the. Um, I suppose the full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, right? Because it's GT Heroes and then he has pure Saiyans as the secondary. Which one is this? Oh, Topo's at transformation active skill. Cell versus Helldivers video. That would be absolute destruction for the Helldivers. Who is the Golden Week Part 2 a lot? Was there one? I shouldn't have closed the timeline already. Yeah, so is an Android and a bug, so it's, yeah, it's kind of kind of makes sense. Getting revenge for both uh, parties. Uh, so. It would have been 
May 2021. Oh, the part two LR was LR Super 17. Oh no. Oh no. My boy. Well, they massacred my boy. Well, he doesn't really fit on this team, does he? So. Just think, when they get an easy A, both the leader skills will be 170, which is pretty decent. GT Heroes and then the family thing. I mean, they have the potential to be pretty damn good with their easy A's. Got my 250 medals saved up for the new war bond. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, like I said, we'll be live doing the. Uh, we're going to do like a good long Helldiver stream at uh, 2 p.m. UK time. So basically, like. Where's the time now? It's seven, almost 7 30. So it's like. Four and a half hours till 12. So it's like six and a half hours from now. Goku KO screen. Yeah, because the active skills don't hit very hard at all, do they? They need to update it so that they're actually... Um... They need to update it so they get, like, guaranteed crits or something. Yeah, it'd be nice if they do some of the super easy A's, like, quote-unquote, out of order, so that they fit with the celebrations and stuff. That would actually be really cool. Oh, God, what a rotation. Yeah, I don't want Goku to do too much damage, but... I mean, it wasn't their best... Well, actually, I don't know what their best hidden potential was before, but... It'll be guaranteed... I imagine it'll be like they did with UI Goku, right? Where it'll just be, like, the actual active skill will be a guaranteed crit. Um, because they can change the effect, but not the condition, so, all right, let's do this. <clears throat> hey guys, Mars Lincoln here, bringing another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video, and so yesterday I did a video where we took a look at last year's Golden Week units on a team, but I wanted to cast our eye all the way back to uh, the Golden Week celebration from 2021, so three years ago. Uh, this was the first time that Golden Week was actually on both versions at the same time. Um, it was reported around the time. I'm not even sure where from. I don't know if it was like an official source or where it came from. But th that was one of the first like big ideas from Koto when she took over as the global producer um, to make Golden Week a same time celebration. Um, I think it was generally considered a very good choice and it has stayed that way ever since. And that is, of course, where we got the GT Super Saiyans, uh, the physical Super Saiyan Goku and the Int Super Saiyan Vegeta. Uh, these guys are really good. Uh, I think thinking back to that time when they came out, um, they were the two best TURs in the game. They both have GT Heroes as a leader skill and then their own family leader skill, which is at 150 as opposed to the GT Heroes at 170. 
Um, I imagine when they get an easy A, right, those will just both go up to 170. Uh, these guys with an easy A could be incredibly good. I like imagine if uh, Golden Week this year is one of the things that we've mentioned before, speculating about the theme during both the um, podcast and in, you know, previous videos on here. But imagine if the theme for Golden Week for this year is like Goku versus Baby. We get like a new Super Saiyan 3 Goku that transforms into Super Saiyan 4. Um, and then like Super Baby that transforms into Super Baby 2. Um, these guys then getting an easy A as part of that would be super good, right? Um, I think these guys could be very impressive. Uh, their attacks, they greatly raise attack, raise defense for one turn. Immense damage, uh, greatly lowers defense. Do they have the same super attack? Yeah, and yours lowers defense. Now, the thing about these guys always was, they have a really cool active skill animation. But their active skill, because the unit themselves, they are nuking style units. So, change orbs to rainbow. They get additional attack when performing a super per key sphere obtained, which means if they get most of their attack from picking up orbs, and because it's on attack, they are able to get pretty high attack stats because those are multiplicative buffs. So then the problem is they gave them an active skill that was a damage dealing active skill. But of course, for a nuking style unit, if they haven't picked up orbs, then they don't really do damage. So that meant that these guys' active skills, whilst having really cool animations, um, absolutely did not hit hard whatsoever, which is really disappointing. So I know they addressed that kind of issue with the um, UI Goku EZA during the anniversary, where they gave his active skill um, guaranteed crit. Um, so something like that would definitely be good to see. Um, but yeah, we're at 226k defense start of turn here. Now we don't get like any on super buff. So that's why, uh, one of the many reasons why these units are a little bit outdated now. We've jumped into the Gamma's red zone because it's one that's not as hard, you know. I mean, we take this team into Fusion Zamasu and, you know, even Goku, physical with type advantage, going to get ripped apart by the AoEs. Um, but yeah, it'd be interesting to see what kind of numbers that they can still get up to now. I mean, 7.85, we picked up, what, like eight orbs? Um, not terrible on a rotation with no support. This Goku, funnily enough, with how hard that he could hit, oof, 70k, and instantly gets super nice. Um, with how hard he could hit with his uh, super, he was the character that I used with the reason why I managed to get the punching bag events done. Right, the no items ones. You still had to get a lucky, like actually get a good rotation, um, get the orb changing and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, that Goku being able to hit so hard is um, the reason why I was able to do those stages. And then, of course, we have the banner units here as well. Both support units. Um, now, talk about a bad start, having both of the uh, both of the Gokus on the first turn. So we've now got this terrible rotation here. I really wanted to see the... Um, I wanted to see the Super Saiyans with, like, the buff from these guys, but... Oh, the animations aren't turned off. Yeah, we lived there viable. I mean, I'm genuinely surprised we actually did live that. 600k from the super. Just because the team... I mean, everyone on the team is on the 200% leader skill. Because, of course, uh, LR, full power, Super Saiyan 4, Goku leads GT heroes. And then the secondary is pure Saiyans and hybrid Saiyans. So everybody on the team is on the 200% leader skill. But, yeah, I mean... It doesn't really matter who I put in slot one. They're going to get killed here. So I was kind of hoping that we could uh, at least make it past the first couple of turns. It would have been nice to see like the two GT Vegetas together with their uh, buffs. Uh, he only hits, super only hits for like 900k. Yeah, exactly. His defense is not good. I mean, let's be honest, right? Like, we just want, we're just kind of checking these guys out for fun. They are three years old, so the fact that they're not really viable anymore shouldn't be a massive surprise to anybody. Um, but yeah, just thought it'd be funny to check them out and see if we could actually get some interesting numbers out of them. If I remember rightly, Goku is the uh, more offensive unit, Vegeta, the more defensive unit. So just double check the actual Vegeta kit here as well. Alright, so you got... 
Yes, attack 1AE and defense 120. Attack 20% when performing a super perk keys were obtained. Oh yeah, see he gets attack and defense 10% when performing a super perk keys were obtained. So Goku hits harder, but Vegeta can actually get more defense, especially if you pick up a lot of orbs with him. Um, but his start of turn defense, 169k. Not exactly uh, crazy, is it? I have to put him in slot one, otherwise Goku's just going to kill him. So let's see what we got. 63 with type advantage and then 6.59 I mean the super attack animations whilst not you know in the same sort of level as the ones we have currently now brand new ones um, the super attack animations are still not bad these are the kind of units we're, we're definitely getting into some of the like the easy A's where the units still have these like really decent super attack animations so they still look pretty decent um Alright, so I remember that the AGL Goten and Trunks, these guys were relevant for ages after their release because after getting their supers off, they were able to have relatively good raw defense for the time, obviously. Like, um, yeah, they ended up being pretty relevant for quite a while. And the tech, uh, the GT Go Bros were still relatively decent as well. Yeah, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta with the Int, uh, Int Gogeta, his easy A, that's going to be incredible for like a GT Heroes team or any sort of like Fused Fighters, Final Trump card, that kind of thing. Um, Three million attacks that for them, let's go. I was going to say watch, I was going to say watch them not get any additional supers, but considering they provide uh, a lot of support, it's definitely not bad. Wow, they took double digits type disadvantage. That's not bad. Alright, so I'm going to get a lot of orbs for Vegeta. Oh, of course, because Dokon is the. Uh, will always only go for the key. That's the other downside to a nuking style units, of course. Is the. Uh, Dokon's not exactly perfectly designed mechanically for the um, specific stages. They destroyed the first stages of Red Zone. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, you got to remember as well, it's, always, it's one of the things that always happens with the anniversary stuff for Global. It's, so these guys came out in um, May or April, end of April 2021. And then when we got to July 2021, and we got into the sixth anniversary, that was when we had the release of the God event. Um, and just like the red zone was with the 200% leaders that were already out on global, is that god event came out and you could just use the GT Heroes team to beat like every single stage of that event. Whereas of course on JP it was a bit harder when the anniversary was out unless you had all the big anniversary units. It's kind of the same thing that happens on global like all the time where... Okay, let's do this. Um, yeah, it happens on global all the time, right? Where the stuff that we get because of same time celebrations that is then in the game before the anniversary has a significant impact on the difficulty or lack thereof of the anniversary content. So the GT Heroes team with these guys, um, <clears throat> you could use in all of the God Event stages. Because you had the Trunks and Gohan, uh, sorry, yeah, Trunks and Goten and the Goten and Gohan. Um, obviously, we didn't have full power LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku then, but... I just realised that you are going to get absolutely destroyed, aren't you? So I should really do this. Because, yeah, he can't take hits from the... Uh... What's the condition for the active skill again? Four or more super attacks. Okay. So is Vegeta's the same? Yeah, four or more super attacks. 
Might not even be able to get to that point. Is Goku also? Goku potentially is just going to get destroyed here. He's got the defensive buff from uh, the Int Goku. I guess it depends whether he is lucky enough to not get supered. Uh, Vegeta's on the other rotation. That's the other thing as well. Kind of like the STR Goku and Gohan were. Where like you ideally want to get additional supers with them early. So you can get the active skill. But... If you don't, then it just takes ages to get to it. Of course he didn't super him. He's going to super Goku, isn't he? Alright, you can super him. That's good. I mean, Gamma 2 potentially could not super, but... What are the chances of that? <laughs> yeah, I kind of forgot the, uh, you know, when you... Stand by with full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. You're then not actually attacking, so. Because we could have potentially wiped out Gamma 1. Well, actually, to be fair, Goku's not going to, like, one-turn him by himself. Fifty-four. Okay, well, at least he didn't super. Okay, this is a decent rotation for Vegeta, because we can do this... And there you go, there's eight orbs for Vegeta. And then those for you. And then we got the full power Goku fully charged. <laughs> yeah, the Fallout uh, series technically came out at like 2 a.m. UK time, so we haven't watched it yet. Pretty much just got up and set up the stream. So probably be watching it over the weekend because we're going to watch it with Lil Blue. Gamma 2 normals are 500k. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how we go then. Alright, so 8 orbs, 8.2. So, I mean, again, considering how old they are, the attack stats aren't bad. They're not anything crazy, especially for now, but... And then he's actually able to tank the normals. So we take those. I mean, of course, you know, Gamma 1 and 2, far from the hardest fight, right? If we took this team into the Zamasu stage, like I said, they get destroyed. Uh, full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku's good against Omega, but the rest of the team, obviously not so much. Um, but, you know, these units are pretty fun. Be interesting to see uh, if we do get an easy A for them sometime soon. Like I say, if Golden Week is actually GT related, then that would be kind of cool. The ultimate final battle. Yeah, all changes that can deal damage. I mean, it, it all depends, right, though, because it's the RNG, right? It can technically go horribly for you, um, depending on whether you get the good RNG or not. Try and keep some of these uh, orbs here ready for these boys on the next turn. Did they actually get enough supers to get either of the active skills, though? That's the question. <laughs> it would be nice to see at least one of their active skills in the video, even though, of course, as we've already discussed, it's not like it's going to do a lot of damage, but it would be cool to see it. <laughs> already been hit to get the defense buff, so double digit damage is what we like to see. And then, yeah, these guys have type advantage over Gamma 1 anyway. Still 21k, though. But yeah, at least AGL, at least Gamma 2 is already supered, so that'd be the one concern here for this turn, is him supering them. Because I don't think they uh, have much damage reduction built up here. Because, I mean, their first appearance, they got the transformation, like the exchange, and then the spirit bomb. So, they might not, they might not have, they might have zero build-up. I'm not actually sure until the start of this turn. Alright. So, no. Uh, can I make? Actually, yeah, let's turn the animations off. 
Can I get an extra turn out of it, though? That's the question. Man, that would have been a nice... Uh... Well, we could just do that. Yes, yeah, so that's nine orbs for Vegeta. And then eight orbs for Goku. Although I think one of them might be about to get supered. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, these guys, you know, their animations are still good. They are uh, they might have aged a fair bit in terms of defense, but I mean, kind of funny that we, I mean, obviously, you know, full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku is kind of carrying the team a little bit. The GT Duo Revive is the reason why we didn't just die, like, right from the start, but, ooh, 242. Um, but hey, I mean, we're still going. I think, I don't know, well, he's got a lot of HP, and then these two are not going to do any damage, are they? I won't hit the nodes, and then we'll see. I think he, I think he survives this turn. We'll see. Alright, yep, yeah, Super Goku. I mean, we've got pretty lucky with the Super Attack placements after the beginning. Goku taking that Super straight away, which he did then live. So... Can't complain. Let's go. So yeah, hopefully Goku doesn't go too crazy. It is his first turn attacking. Oh, no, wait, this is the second one. Yeah, it's the second turn. So he, yeah, he still has guaranteed crit. No additional though. And then yeah, Goten and Trunks and Trunks and Gohan over here. Or Goten and Trunks. Goten and Trunks and Gohan and Goten and Gohan. Won't be doing a lot of damage here. So yeah. Definitely survives the turn. But have any of them supered four times? Goku and Vegeta. I don't actually know. Did they get any additional supers at any point? I don't think they did. That'd be another really good thing if their condition... Because they can't change their active skill condition, remember. Active skill conditions can't change. So, hopefully... Um, they'll give them some sort of like built-in additional in their hidden potential. But... But yeah, now we can check out Vegeta's one at least. And see how much crazy damage this does. Take this, my new finishing move. Yeah, dude, that animation is so good. I love that. <laughs> that damage though. <laughs> Alright, well. I mean, we somehow got the win with this team build, so, um, you know, I'll take it. I say somehow, like I say, full power Goku kind of carries the team, but, you know, we did it. So, surprising, but a successful run with the uh, GT Super Saiyans. It wasn't even 2.5 million, was it? <laughs> it was like 250k. <laughs> But there you go. Yeah, not not a lot of damage. Definitely not good for the current meta, for sure. That's why they really need to, uh, with their EZA, they need to pay a lot of uh, attention to that active skill. Make it a little bit better. But, but yeah, the GT Super Saiyans, the first shared Golden Week. Uh, it'll be interesting to see them with an EZA. I've always thought these units were fun. The Super Saiyans team has been getting loads of crazy buffs. Obviously, Saiyan Day, Vegeta. Um, the Vegeta would be really good for the new Vegeta family team. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys would like to see for the GT Super Saiyans Easy A down below in the comment section. What was your favorite Golden Week? Oh, it was 2.5 mil, but still, that's that's not great, is it? For an active skill. But that's the problem, as we say, when you give a nuking style unit an attack active skill. Um, it means they haven't picked up any orbs, so they're then not... Like, their, their active skill does less damage than their normal super attack for the turn, which... Seems kind of pointless if you're giving a unit an attack active skill that they have to build up to get to. Like it should be then hitting harder than their normal super attack. So hopefully they fix that with their EZA. But let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. What would you do for their EZA? What was your favorite golden week? Dual Dokon Fest. Let me know in the comments. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Master Thing again. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.
Right, there we go. So there's a video for later about the Super Saiyans. Yeah, the easy, like we said, the UI Goku, they gave him, like, the guaranteed crit and, like, make him, they make them stack attack for sure would help. Units with an attack active skill, if they stack attack, then their active skill's always going to hit a lot harder. And especially with them, because they can't change the condition, they already, they have to super four times to get their active skill anyway. So then if they're stacking attack on super, then obviously that's at least four stacks they'll have got by the time they can use their active skill. So... Okay, make sure you guys hit that like button. Uh, favorite Golden Week by far was the one last year. Yeah, Bulma was super good. 23rd World Tournament Goku and Piccolo Jr. were super good. Yeah, Vilify, how's it going? Vegeta versus Topo. Oh, isn't the general consensus that Vegeta's better? I think most people have Topo at, like, number two or something. Topo is better. Mm. Well, yeah, that's why you don't summon for him. I don't know where I see 7,000. Yep. Is that how many I have now? Yeah. It's because I do all the easy A's, like, I do all the TUR easy A's up to stage 100, at least. And then... I have a few. Yeah, I mean, Topo's, you're just running his team, right? That's basically it. Prang Buster! Prang Buster! Hey, shout out to Dave8711 for the uh, re-upping his membership Lobster Squad member for 12 months. Hey, the year. You now have the gold badge. Let's go. Hey, Marsting and hope all is well. Keep on posting awesome content. My guy also recently pulled my first copy of Piccolo. Nice. The LR Piccolo, right? Still very, very good. Um, but yeah, I do most of the TUR EZAs up to stage 100, and then some of them I have gone further. Like, I want to get more of them to 999 eventually. But I've only done those two. But with how ridiculous like the new heroes team is, any of these old like the fusions or crossover ones, right, where you can just use a heroes team. Yeah, Verabus, how's it going? Over on the Twitch side. But yeah, Vegeta I would say is better, yeah. Better teams, partners, links, leader skill. And plus Topo, like, defense, his, the fact that his damage reduction runs out kind of sucks. Like, he's really good defensively on the first couple of turns, but I made an attempt at the trash takes. <laughs> we'll see. If Golden Week is Boo Saga, I'd have to be transforming Angel Goku and Martian Boo. I mean, depends. Oh, the Int Piccolo that's featured on the Super Sentry Goku banner. Piccolo Jr. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, Piccolo Jr. is pretty crazy. Back to the hero's agenda. Well, that's just because the... Uh, it's just for the, uh, the easy A stage, the weaknesses Let's crossover. So, <clears throat> against an STR enemy. So, funnily enough, a team with double limit breaker for Geos is pretty good. Who would have thought? Yeah, that's the thing. With a world tournament coming up, actually finally getting Piccolo Jr. is pretty good. Yeah, Wrathful Broly as a super easy A would be great. The fact that he got his easy A straight away, like, it seemed cool at the time. But obviously, then he got outdated fairly quickly and is now, he's the only Wrathful Broly in the game, but he's just, you can't use him. It's disappointing. Mm 
<laughs> yeah, Lord Slug movie has no Dokkan Fests. That's why I think it'd be fun. They've never really done it in games or anything, apart from, I think recently they brought out the first, like, game card for the Dragon Ball Super card game, the physical one. But having, like, the full Super Saiyan Goku versus Slug would be kind of fun. Ultimate Gohan versus Super Boo would be interesting. And then obviously they can um, easy A Tech Gohan. If you're using Goten and Trunks versus Boo or Super Saiyan 2 Goku versus Majin Vegeta. Yeah, Super Saiyan 2 Goku and Vegeta, that dual Dokkan Fest that we already have where they transform into Super Saiyan 3 and Majin Vegeta, those are probably two of my most wanted easy A's in the entire game at this point. Those units are awesome. I should update sticker effects. Hmm. I mean, that's the thing. You can tell they don't put a crazy amount of effort into the sticker things anyway. Like, you'd think they'd make all of the Dokkan Fest exclusives have a sort of design where the sticker would look good, right? But... Still got a bunch of these to do to get the extra uh All right, let's do this. Extra stone. Yeah, it's kind of a shame that they used that scene for the Barber D, but you gotta remember we also had a Dokon Fest Martian Vegeta not super long before that as well so i don't know what the chances of them doing another marja vegeta anytime soon actually would be especially because we got it's also like one of the things to bear in mind is that we just got a vegeta for saiyan day as well so getting another big dokon fest vegeta we know how dokon likes to shaft vegeta Yeah, Mystical Adventure Celebration, excuse to bring back a rally. I don't, know if, I don't think I've seen that one. I haven't seen, there's a couple of the like, of the OG, like DB Saga movies that I haven't seen. Why can't I use the free-to-play metal callers for the new Trunks Easy A? Uh, I don't know. They're just split up so that it's, it's like certain units only, right? I don't know. Even though they've put them all together into one big event now, they are kind of still the thing. My variety, but I genuinely agree with you from the three leaders for units. Wait, what is that? Is it the, um... Does it mean having, like, three 170 leads or something? Alright, let's do this! Yeah, it's just, like, the cards that are relevant to that movie. It's like when they were all separate, that's why they were certain ones you could use for each one and not... Yeah, three 170 leads. I think that would be better. Like, look at someone like 21 that got like three 170s and was it two or three 30 three 30 percents as well. Like that's crazy. Now each one of those they are more limited categories. So
But yeah, the different Easy A's Extreme Sea areas always have the limited pool of characters. They just put all of the movie boss ones, or movie hero, well, movie edition is obviously what the thing's called. But they just put all the movie related ones into one event. Yeah, I mean, the Rale cards are some of the only summonable units I don't have in the game, so it'd be kind of cool for them to come back. Although hopefully not at like an awkward time, like before the anniversary. That would be kind of annoying. Because <laughs> who knows when they'd come back again after that. Although you would hope that they were going to bring them back, because they're not Dokom Fest exclusives, are they? So they would just hopefully bring them back again and then put them in the general pool, but... Yeah, the free-to-play ones, right? There's like a free-to-play Goku and a Rale card that don't have TURs on global. Why can't I use that team? All the other units are on here. Oh, it's just because the tech one's not on there. Gotcha. All right. Let's do this. Yeah, the free-to-play ones. They're in the global database, but not translated. Hmm. Yeah, it's weird why they didn't. We never got those either. Well, Super Saiyan 3 Goku was one of the earliest units in the game, so a lot of units just didn't have, like, seven links back then. And it's a shame they never they didn't do it when they started easy a units, but they should have used the easy a as the opportunity to add an extra link to characters that only had six. So why not? I really liked the LR Metal Cooler Army EZA on release. It wasn't anything crazy, but it was just kind of fun. Shame they're outdated now too. Wicked Bloodline as a team was obviously super good after the uh, Worldwide from 2022. Uh, I don't believe that is the case, because they are two separate stages. It's not like the, um, or is it? Is it like the story events? I didn't think that was, uh... That's crazy, I've been wasting 12 stamina on every stage if that is the case. GTVG are the free-to-play one from the Baby Saga story event. Has no categories until Awakened. Into yeah, because this thing changes. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like when they started easy Aing units, they should have used that as the opportunity. Like if a character only had six links, when they get an easy A, they should have given them another link. But they didn't. They just decided to update their passive and call it a day. So. Mm-hmm. 
Golden Week confirmed Super Saiyan Hercule versus Beepus. Could you imagine? I suppose there won't be any... Let me have a quick look at the JP thing. There won't be any news, will there? Until potentially an hour from now. If there was going to be news, like tweeted or anything. I have to go back and check last year when they first posted like a teaser for um, Golden Week. Yeah, the last thing posted on JP was on the 10th about the Goku um, Goku's Mercy support memory. I wish those were voiced, but... <laughs> We're getting an update today. Uh, well, technically not today in terms of... Um, the banner for the 50% supports comes out in like 23 and a half hours. I don't think there's any other thing that's coming... Um, I'm not sure what's going on on the JP side. AGL Super Saiyan 3 Goku will be 10 years old on December 31st, 2025. Damn, that's crazy. I and mean, to be fair, it won't be too far away from Dokon's what, 11th anniversary then either, which is kind of wild. World Tournament is next weekend, so yeah, it starts on Friday the uh, 19th. But yeah, I'm going to do a video today talking about the 50% supports. Um, which ones are good, which ones, like which are the best units that are either out or coming out that they're going to be giving support to to consider why they'd be good to have. Um, but yeah, we'll get some, uh, we'll get a challenge run on the go here or something to end out the stream. So if there's anything you guys want to see, any sp specific teams versus right, certain events. Do I don't know why I didn't change this team to just being Goku. Should have saved for the supports. Yeah, the two, the first two multis are thirty stones each, and you get a guaranteed one of the supports. So if you did the two multis on all five banners, it'd be three hundred stones, but you'd get a guaranteed two pulls from both of the banners. And I saw screenshots from JP of people getting like three of the support unit in like one multi and stuff. Uh, we did um we did some kale stuff like when global got the universe six EZAs. Plus it wasn't April for global. Joku Gohan. Uh, sure, like, you don't need the 50 minute supports. Yeah, it's one of those things that some of the teams, like, you just will be able to make really good builds of them. So you don't need them, for sure. But, like, 
you know, one of the big things is going to be Super Saiyans, whether it's the 200% lead with the LR or Vegeta, the new one. Um, there are so many good STR units on that team, and then obviously Kaba. So you can have Kaba, Kefla, Future Gohan, um, the Super Vegito EZA from the anniversary. Like, three, Super Vegeta, I don't know if I said him actually. Kefla, Super Vegeta, yeah, Kefla, Super Vegeta, Future Gohan, the STR Vegito. Like, there's a couple of really good, and then of course Beast Gohan, when he comes out, he's not on the Super Saiyans team, but... There's a lot of like really big super STR characters that will just get massively by like having a 60% support unit on rotation with them. Pretty crazy. But yeah, they won't slow down JP, they'll just keep speeding up global, like dropping extra things in like Rose. Cause Rose. Rosé being dropped in as like an extra unit for Global, in a way it kind of like slows down JP because it means at some point they have to get Rosé instead of getting something new that Global doesn't have. But Global didn't get Rosé instead of something else. They just We just got Rosé like dropped into the middle of um, another celebration, right, basically. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Tanabar after Golden Week for Global. I could definitely see it. Um, I'm not going to say like, oh yeah, you know, that's what they're going to do. But I definitely could see it. The four physical kings of Dokon. I mean, I know one of them is Chow Man, but... <laughs> I think we've done Heavenly Events versus Zamasu when we've done the wheel before, but... But yeah, Tanabar after Golden Week would be an absolute nightmare for global players just because it's yet more things to need to summon on. Yeah, Kami, Chowman, Raditz. Oh, LR Ulma Gohan. The LR, putting LR Ulma Gohan in that list with those three units is just mad, mad disrespect. Like, LR Ulma Gohan is so much better than he gets memed on being. It's crazy. Tech LR Gogeta with an easy would be awesome. Storied figures versus Omega. Oh god. How do you even make that team? Well, actually, doesn't Bardock have a storied figures leader skill? Yeah, he does. I mean, Haruda Gun's on the team. <laughs> Give super easy ace to in. Angel Golden Freezer and AGL Bardock, yeah. I mean, they need it, don't they? God, this team is terrible.
the story figures at SBR is next. Wait, is it? Last year, Golden Week teasers for the events on the 26th. Yeah, that's the events in-game. It'll be two days before the banner comes out. I just mean, like, did they tweet anything? Um... Oh, wow. Well. And a lot of tapey on a Minosha friend. Oh, yeah. Go Bardock needs a Goku on the team to activate his intro as well. But there are no storied figures Gokus. So, there's nothing you can do about that. All right. Let's do this. I mean, what a first turn. Drop down. Well, I'm immediately dead. Does he even have an OST? <laughs> Good start. I mean, I don't know what we're expecting, to be honest. Mm -hmm. There was one Tapey on a Minosha friend available. Although the friend Spirit Bomb Goku will count as a Goku on the team. It's technically not a storied figures team now, though, because we have a, uh, a non-storied figures unit on the team. Yeah. Tara or Fusions versus Omega. I mean, either of those would probably work out okay, because like Patara, you've got like Zamasu. I mean, Patara, you basically run the Zamasu team with Keflo on it. though. Wait, is the friend even easy aid? I remember when that Spirit Bomb Goku was like the most common friend that you could find on the uh, on the friends list because of the all types 120 leader skill. Because, yeah, technically, like, where's my Zamasu team? We'd have to change the last three units, but, yeah, the Zamasu um, Patara team is pretty ridiculously OP. Both the Int, Gotenks, and Ghost, and Kid Trunks, Saiyan have OSTs for their stages. I don't think I ever will have heard them, because back in those days, I never had the uh, sound on when I was playing the game. I don't think I've ever heard this before. The Saiyan Man Trunks one. Jordo confess yak on and pui pui. Is 
It's a funky OST. But yeah, like this team, when Kappa gets his easy A, will be crazy. This team, when Kappa gets his, well, he's not, he's not on this leader skill. Imagine like a pure STR, an STR pure Zayn's team. Like Super Vegeta as the leader. Well, that's why she can't have Kefla. Although, is she on Mastered Evolution? She probably is. Oh wait, no, she isn't, is she? Because it's like a first time transformation thing. Although Khalifa, Super Saiyan 2 Khalifa's on there. I mean, on JP, the team is obviously better because these guys have their easy A, which just is crazy. Good, like super slot one units. Yesterday, AGO King Vegeta 100k from physicals and Masu Super. Yeah, hey, King Vegeta is amazing. Why well, it's Kale here because uh, it's P S Super STR Pure Saiyans, and then I put Master Evolution on as well. But... I mean, I guess we could just use this guy for the sake of the current global thing. But obviously, like, this team, I mean, this team would still be ro runnable, sort of, now, but not, like, <clears throat> not without, you know, Carbo won't be. He'll just get crushed. All right, let's do this. I'll start it up anyway, but, oh, good. The worst, like, worst possible first rotation. I'm just dead immediately, so. Mm. I mean, that's the thing, right? Kabe can actually be a really good slot one unit on his first turn. Obviously, they're fifty percent supports. So if you have the right units on the team with them, they have guard to start with. All right. I like the fact Let's that that guest super Vegeta is is there. What are the chances he supers in slot one? Probably quite high, but. Bardock gets an additional uh, super. Well, yeah, he hasn't got his easy A yet. Yeah, this is just a kind of, this is what the team will look like, but I'll just kind of sort of jump in for fun. But yeah, Bardock builds up as well, so 
His defense will be better after the first turn. good this isn't good though because he he didn't super last turn so he's definitely supering in slot one this time oh let's go he didn't take those no attack lowering on this turn, though, sadly. I'd be very surprised if we actually did this. It'd be kind of funny. But, I mean, let's be fair. When we get to the in phase, like, the cover will just get absolutely destroyed by the AoEs. But... <laughs> Although we could get to... If we could get to the point where, like, the only turn cover has to take an AoE is when we have Vegeta for the um, standby and the like, GT Vegeta for the revival. Has he just not supered a single time? Oh, God. I don't really want to float off Karba, but I kind of have to, otherwise he's just going to get killed. Watch him super in the middle now, though. Okay, now we get the super. Okay. Well, we're dead now. Because even if Bardock survives this, Carbo just gets killed by the normal, but he didn't survive it. I mean, this team has no slot one unit, because Carbo doesn't have his EZA. Super Vegeta can do okay, but... The shun storied figures lead. Playing PSN Global. Yeah. It's nice that the private server had the combo of like both things, right? Like using the Broly and uh, Broly and Rose on the same team, like video for JP. That was fun. But Yeah, all the 50% support units get such an extreme, like, thing. Like, even the ones that are not the, the best out of the 50% support, so at least they're so much better than they were. Because they're basically, like, unusable now. Yeah, Beefy has a gun. Actually, that is a good point. I'm assuming as Dokkan World just stopped making content now, then. Because they were only doing private server stuff, right? I know, they got the Gotenks thing up 10 hours ago. They just stopped doing advanced content, I guess. Oh yeah, it was 10 hours ago was Gotenks, but then it was 7 days ago for Topo and 11 days ago for Broly team.
I mean, that's the thing. I guess there's no way to know unless you've watched a bunch of the different stuff, because, you know, it's not like he could. It's not like he would have ever said in a video about it. I mean, I've said in the past, I have obviously nothing against him personally, although I had, I've heard that it's multiple people that run the account as well. I don't know if that's true. Um, but yeah, nothing against anyone behind the channel or anything personally, but as I've always said in the past, for me, like, I can't watch Dokon content that doesn't have commentary, so I've never been a fan of um, Dokon World, but that's just personal preference. Time to make the promise of gifting five subs to Paul Goku or Hurudagan. Wait, who you are? <laughs> they are multiple, yeah, that's what I thought. Not sure how that works exactly, but... I'm not sure why I would have done this. Because everyone on the team gets the 200% leader skill if I swap the leaders around. So I don't know why I had Goku, I had the Ink Goku on the team right, but not as the leader. I did it for Vegeta. Wait, are you going to summon now? Is that what you mean? Banners, well, the banners are still around for a little bit. The support banners are out tomorrow. The support banners are out in 23 hours' time. So we will be live same time tomorrow morning. Uh, we will do some summons. I don't know if I'm going to summon on all of them. Because that's the thing, the STR banner is probably the best banner. But I have Carburn hit both of two dupes. So I don't really need extra copies of either of them. I also have Bulma Rainbow. I have UI Goku Rainbow. Like... I'm trying to think of what other SDR LRs there even are, but they're all rainbow for me. The Int Banner would be okay, I think. I think it's only Triku, but... In fact, let me check. I want Cell for Tech Vegeta. Yeah, I don't know if he fits super well on the team, but I guess, yeah, he's Andrew. he is Andrew slash Cell Saga, and he has the... Well, he's not on Vegeta's leader skill, but for an Android slash Cell Saga team, I guess it kind of makes sense. Dokkan needs more OSTs like these. Just let the guitar rest for a bit and give the opportunity to other instruments. <laughs> In Gohan. I mean, yeah, Android Sash Cell Saga does need work. Is that, um,. Isn't the TN on Android Slash Cell Saga as well, right? Because aren't they? They're all from the same. Like the pair of units are from both. Are from the same sagas, yeah. Yeah, they're all level ten links for me, but most of them are fifty-five percent, apart from the. Uh, apart from the carbon here, right? They're all just fifty-five percent. Like more copies of the cell would be good anyway, because cell's actually one of the better ones. But yeah, the Int ones are from the Namek Saga. And then you got the physical ones are from the Boo Saga.
Z-Sword Gohan's probably the worst one, I think, out of all of them. Uh, the AGL ones are from GT, so they're not on... One's a hero, one's a villain, so I guess you could do that. Although, yeah, Rildo is actually on GT bosses. But yeah, Rildo, 55%. Pan, 55%. And then, yeah, the STR ones are from, well, they're both from Universe 6, but the Universe Survival Saga. But yeah, these two are both 79% for me. But yeah, as you can see, all the others 55%, but they're all level 10 links, so. But yeah, they suck because they don't get defense on super, that is true. But yeah. No, the supports are out tomorrow. The banner comes out in 23 hours. So I will be live, ready to summon on those. Um, but yeah. But yeah, we're going to wrap things up here. A little bit earlier than usual, but I got a lot of stuff to sort out this morning. We got the big Helldivers update coming out in like an hour and a half. Or two and a half hours, I'm not sure. Which I need to make a video on. And then we're going to have in the... It's what, like three and a half... Five and a half hours from now, the big Helldivers stream on the second channel... The links are pinned in the chat for the second channel. Come check that out. Going to be streaming Helldivers for about four hours, testing out all the new content, the new weapons and all that stuff. So hopefully I will see you guys over there on the second channel. And then we'll be back tomorrow morning for Dokon to summon for the 50% supports. Um, but yeah, that is going to be it from me. I appreciate you guys coming out and I will catch you all again soon. Have a good one.